All right, hello everyone. Thank you for joining on today's live stream as well. This is 25th of February on Thursday. So let's check some charts by Ichimoku. Just a quick disclaimer before starting here. Um, this is basically my experience knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. Okay, so looks like the market has been retracing. So, um, but some are trending still. So, let's check the charts all together. And after this public live, there will be a Ichimoku membership live. So, this public live is going to be for the next um, 45 or 50 minutes. So let's say hi to everyone first. Karim, thank you for joining as well. Great to see you here, as always. All right, Jagadish, thank you for joining as well. Gold seems interesting in lower time frame charts, one hour and below. All right, let ch let's check some charts and gold. Alright Melin and uh, James, Tam, Trader, Robbie and Butter, thank you for joining as well. Great to see you here. So let's see. Um, so today first I would like to talk about the Kumo thickness. Because um, I've get some emails about the question about the Kumo thickness, what it means and how we can interpret the Kumo thickness. So that will be my main focus today. So let's see. Um, so speaking of the Kumo thickness first, um, so let's check gold. Let me um, go to the gold right now. And uh, let me talk about this one on the daily chart. So on the daily chart, uh, this is bearish. Simply because the price is below Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. And the Kumo is downtrending now. We see the Senko Span B flat and Senko Span A is downtrending. And so Kumo is composed of two lines. One is the Senko Span A which is the upper part of the Kumo when it's down Kumo and the Senko Span B is the lower part of the Kumo and when it's up Kumo it's opposite um, when it's up Kumo like here the upper part becomes Senko Span A and the lower part becomes Senko Span B and when you see Kumo twist, that's exactly when it did cross. So when Senko Span AB did cross, that's the Kumo twist to bearish. And afterwards, the Kumo twist bullish. Senko Span E goes above the Senko Span B, that's the gold cross of Kumo. And now it's after that cross, it's going down. So this is bearish in the long term as per Ichimoku. Alright, thank you for joining everyone. Good to see you again, Oliver. Samrat. And I'm sorry I can't read your name, but uh, thank you for the words. You are the master of Ichimoku. Thank you. Thank you for the words. I hope you enjoy and learn from my Ichimoku analysis today. And Tuan Turunga, thank you for joining as well. Great to see you here. So yeah, the Kumo is trending down. And now this is bearish in the long term. So Kumo shows the long term market momentum. When you see Kumo up, that's the uptrend in the long term. And when you see Kumo down, it's downtrending in the long term. So now what that's what's happening on this goal on the daily chart. The Kumo is sloping down. So there is a good chance that the market breaks the previous low at this 1760 level downwards this way. 
So as I mentioned um, last time yesterday, uh, this is, I think to me, downtrend. So I expect the market breaks the previous low. Looks like the market is he hitting towards the previous low now on the gold. Hello Roy, thank you for joining. Good to see you here. Senko span B is up part in the downtrend. Oh, Senko span B is a lower part, and Senko span A is up a part. Yeah, that's what I said. When it's down Kumo. So this is down Kumo. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, I, I made it opposite. So Senko span B is up a part, and Senko span A is a lower part. Sorry about that. Sorry about the confusion. <laughs> yeah, Jagadish, thank you for the correction. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about my wrong information. So, let me take it back. So, Senko Span B is upper part, Senko Span A is lower part when it's down Kumo. And when it's up Kumo, Senko Span B is lower part, and Senko Span A is upper part. And both ones showing the long term market momentum. Thank you, Jagadish, for the correction. So that means you are listening to my words. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so speaking of the thickness of the Kumo, uh, when you see the thickness of the Kumo, and when you find the Kumo to be thick, like what you see right now, then this is a stable downtrend. But if you see the thin part of the Kumo, then that's the overheated market. So let me show you an example here. So now we see the Kumo's downtrending and you see the thickness in the Kumo. So in the long term I expect the market go down this way. But if you see the past chart for example uh, when you see thin Kumo like over here this is um, overshooting market, so it might go backwards afterwards. So um, in this case, the Kumo thinness, well, thin Kumo here, was happening somewhere. I think on this bearish candlestick. Hold on, let me go back the chart and see exactly when it happened. So, um, so the Kumo has been very thin like this. So when you see the thin Kumo like this, this is also the sign of the consolidation. It's a range. So unless the market breaks either direction, basically you better wait. Either up or down. Because Kumo is flat and this is very thin like this. So afterwards, it broke downwards. As we saw earlier, it broke downwards. But when the market breaks downwards this way, the Kumo is still thin, very thin. So in this case, uh, there is a potential that the market retries backwards to this way. So basically, if I see markets like this, I wait until the Kumo gets thicker and thicker, or I simply um, look at other markets to take trades. So. So after these two bearish candles, um, the Kumo became flat. As it consolidates, the market goes flat, and Kumo goes flat too. So you see, this is the only. This is the. Uh, this is the end of the downtrend. At this moment, because you see Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen flat, so. Um, the market might come back to the Kijun Sen or Kumo. So unless the Kumo goes down and Kijun Sen goes down, I won't look for the sell chance. But still, there is a good chance that the market goes down this way still because the price is simply below Tenkan, Kijun Sen, Kumo, and Chikou Span below the candles. So this is bearish in momentum, but direction is flat. So. Because Ichimoku offers two perspectives to the market. One is the 
momentum and the other one is the direction of the market so now this is bearish in momentum but direction wise this is flat because Kumo and Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen all flat and what happens afterwards was that the, uh, the market broke the previous low but still the Kumo is very thin Kumo is very thin as compared to current Kumo so I follow the downtrend in this case but I also expect the market will be supported at the previous low and retrace backwards this way so this is I think the secret of the Kumo you have to see the thickness of the Kumo here so Afterwards, the market went backwards and retraced backwards all the way to Kijun Sen, broke the Kijun Sen, and now we see the Kumo is retracing. We see the Senko Span B flat, but Senko Span A is retracing backwards. So, this is in the middle of the retracing. So, you don't want to take trades in this kind of condition. This is still in the middle of the, middle of the retracement, so you might come up to the Kumo and breaks the Kumo upwards too or it might go down and we don't know which way it's going so in this condition simply you better hold afterwards the market goes down still range this is on N wave I do see N wave bullish so it can continuously go up this way So afterwards the market broke the Kumo upwards and go all the way up and then now it's retracing backwards so um, yep yeah, so in that this is what's happening right now in the current market so you see bearishness right now but as per Ichimoku and once again that's because the Kumo is downtrending and it's got a thickness to the Kumo now okay I hope you get this concept uh, before moving on to like price theory or like time theory because uh, this five lines of Ichimoku is the most important part to remember and also Kumo and Kijun Sen are very important So let me come back to some comments now. So let's see. Uh, question if Tenkan Sen line is moving up and Kijun Sen is moving horizontal and candles price in between the two lines, what does it mean? So that's the consolidating market, but this is still bearish. So I think that's what's happening uh, on the previous candle. In this case, downtrending, but uh, this is when you see. Uh, the Tenkan Sen going down and Kijun Sen goes flat but the price is still in between Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen this is bearish but still sideways I mean we can expect I mean how do you say so um, what would be the best way to put this one so I would say that the um, this is you know in wave bearish so unless the market breaks the Kijun Sen upwards I expect this reverse in wave to happen but if it breaks up above the Kijun Sen then um, I don't expect this reverse in wave anymore um, this might go up and this might turn to bullish in wave from here If it breaks the Kijun Sen upwards but if the market is still below the Kijun Sen and below the Kumo then I still expect the bearish in the wave to form like this way I hope that makes sense hello island Bupen, Jeremiah and Cashflow thank you for joining from Dallas good to see you here 
And Kayon, thank you for joining as well. As always, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Let's see. Jim says, if price starts pushing past previous low, do you wait for daily to close or go to confirm by KTS? If the price pushing past previous low, um, I won't wait for the daily close. I look at the lower time frame and confirm downtrend in H1 or 30 minute charts. Yep. And let's see. Question number two. If Kumo Twist go green bullish but moving down instead of up, what does it mean? That means the market is retracing. The market is retracing while it's bullish trend in the long term. So now we see Kumo's down trending, but the market is retracing backwards. But I still expect the market go down this way because simply because the price is below Kijun Sen and Kumo. And today it's down trending. Oh, Jagadish, yeah, 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 that was. Yeah, that was a slip of the tongue. Yeah. So yeah, once again, Senko span B is the upper part, and Senko span A is the lower part when it's down Kumo. Yeah, sorry about the wording mistake. Hello, good night. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. Yeah, Euro USD is ranging as per Ichimoku. So I don't look at it uh, these days. Vasu, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you here. Let's see. Alright. Eddie, thank you for joining. Good evening. Good evening here. Um, like, let's see. I want to ask about the fundamentals in the US stimulus package. Uh, is approved. What will happen to the market? Especially in stock markets. Um, yeah, so... Personally, I don't really take trades in the fundamental news. So although I, I have my thoughts about these fundamental outcomes, I prefer to focus on this Ichimoku strategy. Yeah, there are actually some uh, US news today. Uh, it was, uh, yeah, there was a GDP report just earlier. Oops, not this one, sorry. Yeah, there are a couple of um, reports over here. But uh, fundamentally speaking, um, if you see the negative result from previous, and also if you see negative result from consensus, then this currency, this currency will be sold, tend to be sold. So USD, we had a non-defense capital goods and orders, uh, this was negative. So in that sense, the USD might be sold. But at the same time, we had the durable goods orders in January. Uh, you know, this this below here is X aircraft, but this is, you know, the simple durable goods orders, and this was positive. And whenever I, I do see these fundamental news, um, I expect the volatility goes up and down in the market, so I simply stay away. But in theory, if the outcome is positive, better than the previous, better than consensus, then this currency tends to be bold. When it's negative, then it's vice versa. All right, thank you for joining. Good to see you here. Smart business. Oh yeah, when I was tweeting, um, that was just my post. I do the live streams every day, or not every day, sorry. I do the live streams whenever I can um, at this time. You see the uh, the time over here. Every day, public lives and videos at uh, 23 p.m. GST. So you can see the schedule over here.
Let's see. In gold, the daily chart as expected now we saw double N wave up and price above the Kumo. Still, it reverses backwards. Yeah, looks like this is still in the middle of the retracement on this gold. So, um, let's see. Let's look at the 4-hour chart. In 4, it turned bearish because the price is below the Kumo now. But the Chikou span is still above the candles, so I would wait for the Chikou span break. Um, yeah, and I think in one hour chart it's downtrending. I do see reversing the waves in one hour chart, and now yeah, 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 in one hour chart we had the uh, this uh, reversing the wave. Now this is going bearish. But if you see Kumo here, this is a bit thin, so it might retrace backwards anytime soon. But as long as um, the market is below the Kijun Sen and Kumo, this is bearish to me. Hello, Fire. Thank you for joining. Good to see you here. If there are numbers to measure the thickness of the Kumo, um, not really. I don't really measure. So I don't really measure the thickness of the kumo. It's like the Bollinger bands. I don't really measure the thickness or the bands expansion in the Bollinger bands either. So this is a bit subjective in that sense. But um, so here in this case, this is basically my experience. So up here, you see kumo uptrend. And it gets thicker, thicker, and it's gaining its more bullishness to me. But after I see that single span A goes flat, single span A goes flat, B goes flat, over here the market start to retrace. So um, yeah, but I do see this uh, kumo thickness also. Usually I talk only about the angles of this Kumo Senko Span BA, but um, today I wanted to mention also that the, uh, I do see the thickness of the Kumo too. So that's important, yeah. More sell biased, yeah, I think so. In gold, this is sell biased, so you don't want to jump in to the market to buy in this case. Oh, Golan, thank you for the words. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's live stream. So it's been my pleasure to do these live streams. Without your participation and support, I wouldn't be able to do this every day. So yeah, thank you for the support as always. Jeremiah says, um, I have always wanted to know how Japanese traders trade as I have read much about Mrs. Watanabe, BNF and CIS. There is not much about them but they open the idea for me. This is the guy that can tell us better history about Muneshima Homa. Oh yeah yeah the the original creator of the candlestick patterns. Yeah actually I do have the book of the Homa Muneshima also and I have studied these candlestick patterns from these copies of these original books also. So it's quite interesting to see. Of course the time, I mean the uh, the era is different now and then but um, for sure we can have something in common still. So let's see. Okay, have a look at the uh, USCCAD. Chart is bearish, but on the daily chart, Kumo is thin. All right, so let's check USCCAD. So let me go to Forex. And 
USDCAD dollar CAD, this is downtrending. Yeah, it's downtrending. Daily chart goes down. And yeah, as um, yeah, as we mentioned, uh, mainly this is the thin part of the Kumo here. Before it was thick, but now it's get, it's a bit thinner. So the market might retrace backwards. And let's see if there is any previous low on this chart. And yet the previous weak low was um, over here from uh, 17th April 2018. At this 1.2531 level, there was a previous weak low. So um, as we see Kumo thinness over here, um, it might be uh, be um, supported or it might consolidate. It might goes up and down. So this might become fake and it might goes up this way and it might be in the range and it goes down eventually. So I think uh, that's something that I expect also. But yeah, this is downtrending, so I follow the downtrend, but at the same time, in my mind, I also expect the retracement. So, yeah, based on my strategy, every time I see retracements, I exit anyways. So, in that sense, it doesn't really matter to me. Now, it looks like it's breaking downwards anyways. So, the might some retest and continue to go down this way can be possible. So yesterday, when I was checking this chart yesterday, I saw the thinness, thin part of the Kumo here. So this is uh, yesterday's chart. You see Kumo is getting thinner. Senko span A, B are getting um, close with each other. So today, I was also expecting a retracement. But uh, looks like it's breaking down. So I think this is going to be a stable downtrend so far. Let's see, dear K, I'm very surprised with the power of Chikou Span once break the candles either up or down. Yeah, Chikou Span is very important. Yeah, Chikou Span breakout. Yeah. Chikou span shows actually the momentum of the market. So simply when you see Chikou span below the candles, this is bearish. Chikou span with the candles, this is range. And Chikou span above the candles, this is bullish, simply. And sometimes Chikou span exactly overlaps and tries the past candles like this. This is another uniqueness of the Chikou span that I often I talk about it on the Ichimoku membership lives. And now it's it's broken down. So this is a Chikou Span break. And so this is bearish now. It's a bearish market in that sense. After this Chikou Span breakout. Can we look at USDJPY? Oh, USDJPY is uptrending today, and I think it's going to be bullish in a wave on the daily chart. Um, yeah, USDJPY, this is bullish. So I think it's gonna go up still continuously. So um, here's the daily chart, and we we do see bullish in wave like this, and it goes up this way. And but right now I see the Kumo, so Kumo thickness is good. I do see a Kumo thickness, and it's gaining thickness now. It's getting thicker and thicker. So this is a stable uptrend in the long term. But in the mid term, as per Kijun Sen, it's flat. So basically, I'm waiting for the breakout at the previous high, at this 106.226 and follow the uptrend. Otherwise, it might become double top and it might go down back to 
a Kijun Sen because Kijun Sen is flat. Okay, let's see. T20 says, um, Would you please check USCHF? Looks like the Kumo break on the daily chart. All right, let's check that one later. Oh, Faisal, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome, everyone. Thank you for the comment and participation, as always. In case I miss one of these comments, I make sure to read back. So usually, uh, before I go to bed every day, I check my my live stream on that day and I read these comments. So in case, just in case I miss your comment, uh, please don't get disappointed because I will come back to this live stream after afterwards and check these comments. And also, I do check comments on the on the archive as well. And once you I, once I read these comments, I I check my check my marks so that you know I'm reading these comments. Let's see. Support resistance a bit of trend lines and Ichimoku. You definitely have an eagle view. Yeah, Borsa view is important. That's true. Oh, smart business. Thank you for following me all the time since it was 5k. Yeah, now it's 22k. So yeah, thank you for the support as always. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let me come. Let me check some more comments. Okay, if market is going up on H4, but H1 shows market flat and M5, M15 going down, would you consider entering the trade on those smaller time frames? When H1 shows flat, then I won't take a trade. If M30 shows uptrending, then I look for the edge to buy. And yeah, um, if uh, in case M5, M15 goes backwards, I do still take trades. In that case, oftentimes what happens is that I do see divergence on stochastics in lower time frames, so I do take it. Would you recommend us to enter uh, and buy once the candle moves up and the Kijuns and even the Golden Cross not happen? Um, I would wait for the Kijun Sen Gold Cross to happen, Tenkan Kijun Gold Cross to happen to enter the buy. Yeah, if uh, if Tenkan Sen is still below the Kijun Sen when it's uptrending, um, in that case, I don't think I will buy. Or oh, I look at the lower time frame, like H4, and see if the market is uptrending. Um, let's see, Jagadish says, uh, K are the targets indicated in USCJPR charts in it. daily chart are hand calculated or inbuilt in charts? Oh, these are hand calculated. Yeah, and this is actually a topic for today's Ichimoku membership live. So, yeah, it's about the price target theories and time cycles on this M N wave. So let's talk about it furthermore at this Ichimoku membership live. So let's see. Let's check the uh, CHF, sorry, USS CHF. Um, let's see. Um, all right, so this is bullish. I mean, the buyers are still in the market but this is flat in direction 
I do see the engulfing candle. There is an um, inside bar. Uh, this is called harami, H A R A M I, harami structure in Japanese. But if I say this in English or especially in Indian language, I heard, I, I heard it's a bad language. So afterwards, I don't use that word. I just say this is inside bar. So I expect the market breaks above the previous high, weak high, at this 0.909. Oh, TikTok lover, thank you for the comment. So yeah, if you liked and enjoyed today's live stream so far, please press a good button before you leave. Hello, Suresh, thank you for joining. Good to see you here. And Juan, nice to see you here too. Um. So yeah, sometimes the language, you know, shows different meanings. So I'll be careful. <laughs> yeah, I never knew that that word is a bad language in in Indian. So uh, yeah, in case any of Japanese language sound mean or sound not good, then please let me know. I try to avoid using these words. Okay, I hope the Kumo Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Chikou Span is not the bad words in any other languages. <laughs> Hopefully. So, anyways, yeah, this um, this is flat, and I do see engulfing candle. So, I look at the one hour chart, and yeah, engulfing candle has been forming like this, and this might become a um, head and shoulders. This might become head and shoulders and it might go down. So um, if the market breaks the neckline, so now we have Tenkan Kijun did cross Chikospan break. So if the market breaks the neckline of uh, 0 0.094 or this Senkospan B, 0. Um, 0 0.9021 level then this might be continuous downtrend but because the daily chart still shows uptrending um, I mean the up momentum I do see more buyers and sellers in the market still in the daily chart so there's a good chance that the market will be supported by this Kumo and goes up this way too and breaks the previous high. So to make the long story short, I would avoid in this kind of market because this is what I call the range market. This is there's no trend, it just goes up and down today, so no trace. Because I am a you know day to swing trader, so I follow the daily chart or four chart trends in those in these major pairs. So unless I I see a direction, a trend direction in daily or four, I won't look at the chart in that day. Pound NZD, alright, let's see. So let's see, pound NZD uh, in a daily chart. Oh, it's retracing all the way back and now it's in the range. So um, yeah, for me as a day to swing trader, this is not the timing to enter. After the Kumo break, it retracts all the way backwards. And oh, looks like uh, it's been resisted at the. I think this is previous high. Um, not really. I think this is. These are the targets that I marked recently. 
and it just went backwards now and this is on reversing the wave and Kumo flat Kumo exactly flat Senko span B up but Senko span A is retracing backwards and Kijun Sen flat Tenkan Sen flat Chikou span with the candles so this is the range so we don't know which way it's going it might go up and it might go down we don't know which way it's going so simply I avoid taking trades Yeah, Euro Pound H1 is bullish, daily is bearish. What will be the correct criteria to enter this trade? Alright, so let's check Euro USD. Oh, this is bullish now. But, um, so this is a daily chart Euro dollar. But this Kumo, you see, this is bearish Kumo. In my chart color setting, this is a dark gray. Kumo is bullish and this uh, light gray is bearish and the Kumo is not yet twisted bullish so although I do see the Kumo breakout over here today um, it might retrace backwards soon so unless I, I see Kumo twist um, I won't I won't um, I won't how do you say like a, I won't trial in the daily chart but we might see uptrend in the 4 hour chart so let's check the 4 hour chart okay so here is a 4 hour chart and yeah this is bullish but direction wise this is I think it just turned bullish the Kumo's up Senko span A is technically up and Kijun Sen also up Chikou span above the candles so yeah I think in this case I can take 4 yeah, I will take forward chart to follow this uptrend. So I think it's also uptrending in H1 because recently it just broke the previous high. Yeah, technically it broke the previous high. And that's why this are Senko Span AB and Kijun Sen are all up and Chikou Span above the candles too. So I look at the lower time frames like 5 or 15 and look for the trading edge so I do see the um, this a uh, gold cross of um, scarcity band walking and previous high breakout so I think that will be a great buy chance now um, do I see divergence and it looks like no the market goes down this way and scale 6 also goes down this way so this is not divergence this is um, the simple move but I do expect the market breaks above like this way I like the Classic gold cross, this is my favorite, so I think it continues to go up along the way. Stop loss will be below the previous low. In this case, I have the stop loss to, to make it 31, uh, 31 pips stop loss, and as a per target, I take I took the forward chart, so my target will be um, at the previous high. In the forward chart, my initial target will be the previous high. In this case, I do see two weeks from um, 8th of January this year at this uh, 1.2283 level. That will be in target. And the ultimate target will be up over here from the high, swing high, uh, 6th of January this year at 1.2349 level. So, yeah, I think that will be the scenario to buy.
Yeah, I like this move actually because uh, this is in Y wave, but um, the market was uptrending, and after seeing this double top, it became fake because um, it broke the neckline on this double top in five, broke the neckline, but still supported at this level, and it actually goes above. It's actually going up this way now. Very strong uptrend in five. So I still see more buyers than sellers in the market in this price action. So I expect the market goes up this way. But if it goes down and breaks the previous low, then I have to be out because now there are more sellers than buyers in the market in this short time frame. Okay, so oh, looks like it's about a time to end the public live session and switch it to the membership live. So, yep. Once again, thank you for joining everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's analysis. So, tomorrow uh, might be a video session. Uh, I have to go out from my house tomorrow at this time so um, if that's the case there will be a video session or I might do the live stream I will announce it um, on the on the, on the announcement a reminder you will know whether it's going to be video or a live stream but thank you for joining everyone I hope you enjoyed today's live stream and if you liked it please press a good button before you leave and for those Ichimoku members, I will see you on the Ichimoku membership live in about 10 minutes. So, I hope you have a great day today. And until I see you next time, please stay safe, stay healthy, and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.